Welcome back guys! Today we are going to take a look at my angle grinder and see what we can do about that. I remove the accessories first and then I make sure to clean it up a little bit because it's a little bit more fun to work with. cross check that it still doesn't work as it should and as you can see nothing happens I quickly then just check the cables and they didn't happen much there either so it's time to open it up removing all the screws and then it's just a matter of popping the lid the machine is rather simple inside because I mean it's a very very cheap machine itself but it still holds up very well The gearbox is also fine and here I just make sure to remove it because otherwise it would most likely just drop out when I least want it to. Removing the wires and measure the voltage and see if anything comes through and nothing comes through. So that means that the wire or the cable itself is the problem. A quick another look at the cable, but I gave up and just fetched me another computer cable instead for this application. Preparing the cable. Cutting to length and everything. And then I add those lugs to the end, it makes it a little bit neater and nicer to work with. It really isn't needed, but I want to try out a new tool I got. It actually works really really good. It's a quick solution that you don't have to solder ends instead and get nice and firm ends. I'm just cutting out off one of the last millimeters on it because they will be too long otherwise. Putting the cable back into the slot where it should be. Making sure that I don't bend the wires too much. The protective part goes back in place as well. Then it's just a matter of attaching the gearbox back on. And when you have it out, make sure to add a little bit of grease. Not much, but at least a little bit. And then it should last quite a long time. The lid goes on again. And all the screws goes back. And then it's just time to test it out again. And it seemed to work fine. It's rather simple fix, but it's a very common error. So when you have tools like this, just don't throw them away directly. You should try out and see if you can fix them first, of course. Accessories goes back as well. So the hand grinder is ready for the next work. The angle grinder is now ready for duty again. So you have the angle grinder here and the cable is fixed. It's a very common issue that the cable actually breaks down and generally this end is very very normal at the breaks in the end here. Especially on the ones that doesn't have this uh, some sort of flexible thing that actually uh, relieves the strain on the cable. Uh, in this case it was actually on this end as it looked like 
but I did switch out the whole cable instead. And just as a bonus, of course I have one more angle grinder with a broken cable. And in this case, as you can see here, it's just that the outer part of the uh, cable is actually worn out. And this one is rather simple to open up. Remove the back cover for the cable itself and then just pull the back sleeve off. This is the Bosch blue version and it's, uh, I would say they are really simple and easy to work with. And here you see the damage. If you leave this for too long and you don't fix it, it will just end up in breaking loose totally and you will have open exposed wires. I also have a part of this cable that actually had an older damage. Uh, I had electric tape wire around it, but I decided to put a really really thick heat shrink around it as well. Um, this one is not the cheap Chinese crap, this is actually really thick, nice heat shrink. I have done this on other cables before and it seemed to hold up very very well. Uh, for this cable I just cut off the end that was damaged and uh, made sure to unsleeve it and hook it up to the angle grinder again really. And as you can see here, my 3D printer is running in the background as always. Cable goes back. It doesn't really matter what order you put them in. Uh, since you can turn the plug uh, in either direction, so that's fine. Getting the cable holder back to make sure that you can't pull it out. And I'm using my 10.8 lithium iron uh, drilling machine. Uh, also fixed, of course. Um, that's most likely the next fixing video. And accessories goes back. And the machine is fit for fight again. So I want to thank you for watching and hopefully you learned something that you can actually fix many of your gears that are breaking down because many of the things are simple issues. So once again guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time, bye.